hi everyone this is Vikesh from Texo and in this video I'm going to talk about Texo recipes what Texo recipe is all about and what are these buttons and uh, basically like how you can create recipes and why it is going to be very useful so let's get started so here you're seeing recipe name which is basically the name that you want to give to this recipe so I've just written slack leads to and description I'll just say um, converts slack members into leads and then um, I'm going to click on save recipe but you don't need to like click it it's like auto saving so it will say every time you make any change um, and the run recipe is basically if you want to run the recipe and uh, this test run recipe which is basically if you just want to see what the result is going to be um, before you actually start running the recipes then you can click on this button and uh, uh, run like dry run your recipe and here you have variables what variables is all about is like uh, when you click on variables you will see global variables and local variables so global variables are basically variables that you can use in any other recipe um, so you can use that basically if, if you create a global recipe you can use that variable in all your different recipes on on text platform and the local variables are local to this particular recipe so if I create a local variable say um, slack uh, session cookie and then here I'll say variable value is going to be uh, XYZ or yeah so here it, it creates a local recipe local variable sorry and then um, local variable basically you can you will use only in this recipe and global variable I'll say um, Slack session global and this I'll just say something like QWEDS 123456 I'll just add here yeah so it creates two different variables one is like global which is going to be used across all your different recipes and local which is only specific to this particular recipe that you are seeing right now yeah so once this is done you can just click anywhere and it will be saved so you don't need to worry about like saving and all that now we'll see how to like create a Texo recipe so if you're not aware of like Texo recipe what it is all about is like you can create you can connect different platforms together and uh, build a powerful lead generation pipelines so what I mean by pipelines is that like say uh, you want to grab all the members of a slack channel and then find want to connect them on linkedin and then you want to say you want to send a message to them so um this currently there is no really a good way to do this process and if you do that same this whole thing manually it's going to take hours right so what we need to we need we texo automates this whole process for you so let's see how how it works so here it says click here to add your first spice so what does spice mean spice is basically a basic individual automation scripts which will do a specific task on any green platform so when i click here i'll just search slack and here we have three different spices which are basically automation scripts slack message sender slack user extractor slack incoming webhook so i'm going to use slack user extractor so when I click on this it gives it creates a node with like all the required variables that it needs and then it has iteration so slack session cookie slack workspace URL channel ID max users iteration so on our platform all the different platforms use cookies uh, to store some some data uh, for you right so we, we use cookies to authenticate of as a user basically so if, if you provide your cookie to us we will authenticate to different platforms just like you you do like 
login and password thing same way we do so cookies are like very much needed for our platform to work so we have like flex session cookie then workspace url so you can click on this and uh, yeah so here uh, it asks for like slack session cookie but we we have this local variable i'm going to just use that workspace url we, it doesn't have we, we haven't created like any uh, variable for that so i'm just going to leave it for now in the next video we are going to see how to actually create and run recipe i'm just give, showing you like kind of like a small demo of what recipe is all about so now let's say we have slack user extractor done so you have like all the slack members now you want to like um, find them on linkedin right so let's see click on uh, spice and then go to linkedin and then first we want to like find their linkedin profiles so i'm going to use linkedin profile url finder so how it works is that like it will take the input of this and pass this like sorry this will take the output of this spice this node and will pass that to this node as an input so whatever members that you will get in this node all things will be passed to this node so linkedin profile url is going to get the all the results of slack user extractor and then it will process them and once it is processed then we want to like send them a connection request right so uh, once we have the LinkedIn profile URLs, we want to send them a connection request. So I'll just use this plugin. Sorry, it's not plugin, it's, uh, it's a spice. So I'm going to use this spice and then, um, yeah, so I think it's almost done. So this is how it works. So we have, we have connected three different nodes with each other and build this like kind of like a small automation process. And it is it, definitely going to save three to four hours of work right so if we do the same thing like manually it will take more than like five to six hours to this whole process but Texor does this whole thing in just uh, five to ten minutes which is very cool um, and it saves us a lot of time right so in the next video we are going to see how like, this whole thing really works and how you can run the recipe and um, how you can set up a cron job to basically run the whole recipe every day or after every day, uh, other day or in a week or at some specific particular time so let's let's see that in the next video thank you